So I've been golfing about two to three years. And when I say that, I mean, I've been swinging a club since growing up going to the driving range with my dad, but my dad gave me his set of clubs um, end of 2020 and started playing consistently. Just uh, ironically, as I decided to retire from BMX altogether, not just competition, but just riding my bike altogether. And golf's been able to replace that physical void of competition itself, bettering myself, just something physical in terms of activity I can do and I can progress with. I love it. And uh, it comes with virtually no risk of concussion or breaking a bone. I mean, unless I get hit by someone else's ball. But uh, for the most part, it's a relatively safe sport that I can do until I can't walk to different degrees, you know, I mean, for skill levels. But I'm um, 34 years young, got a long uh, future ahead of me with the game, and I love it. I love the frustration. I love the dedication, the inconsistency of the playing environment, the ability to adapt that's necessary. Even playing the same course, which I'm at Cypress Head today, I play this course a lot. It's one of my favorite courses right down the road from my house. and. No matter how many times I play it, I'm never on the same spot. Of course, the weather conditions, like today, it's really windy. They're never the same. Um, there's just so much that translates from BMX to golf. But the most important thing is the mindset. The short-term memory, the focus, the repetition, the volume of repetition over time to get better. And I just love the chase. I love the dopamine that comes from it. I could have the worst round ever, and it's that one shot I hit that stays with me is what brings me back. And, the more I continue to practice, the more I increase those shots and the probability of hitting that shot again and again. And uh, yeah, I just really love it. So I'm really happy that I get to uh, get a set of my dad's clubs. And now um, uh, I got a new business goal in terms of revenue to fund my expensive hobby and get my own set of clubs fitted for me here soon. And yeah, I just really, really love it. Get outside as well, you know, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D and you know, get to beat some cool people, network, and um, just, yeah, be able to just, I don't know, enjoy my life. And never thought at the age of 17, when I first went pro in BMX, that I could fathom moving on from BMX, let alone finding something else I was interested in that I could become passionate about. So, really stoked. I love it. And it's beautiful out here in Florida, play year round. A little cold in the winter uh, for a couple weeks, really, but, you know, nothing like up north or even in North Carolina where I spent half my life. So, I'll take it. So I've been putting a lot of effort into my chipping touch and this one worked out pretty well, but the green was sloped a little bit more right to left than it looked when I got up there, as you can see, because I was pretty on point with my location and my touch, just uh, not far enough right. And the next piece that I've been slacking, I'd say, in practice because of my wanting to hit the ball and not really putting much time into putting has been putting. And here just crushed it through the break. Otherwise, had the right line, just hit it way too hard and went a little, little outside of uh, the cup. And so I had to readjust and get it back to the hole. And this is one of my favorite holes on this course. It's a par four. You got to carry the water about 195 and with my three wood hit it really well. You can't really see, but I got it out to the right and it drew back to the middle of the fairway about 220, 230. And um, as you can see, I'm really stoked because this hole back, especially from the blues is one of my nemesis, you know, but hit it well. And then got it rated about 135 if I recall correctly. So in good condition because if you do uh, recall seeing right there on the right there's a tree so if you come up short by just clearing the water you got to pop it over a tree and depending on where the pin is located that day it's going to create some difficulty but i got into some nice positioning got a nice look the flag was just in the middle of the, the green and this green it's hard to see from this this um shot of course but it's like a two-tiered green on the right it's um, at the lowest and then where the pin is it's like right in the middle like this hump and then it like kind of tears up so you want to be um, to the right if not maybe right in the middle and so you get some practice swings in there I'm trying to get more um, of a routine of practicing my swing before I go and hit but hit it well struck it well got it up in the air I'm just watching it and thought I was gonna come up short but I got it right up there and you'll see in a minute, but I've been really focusing on trying to keep my chest stable in my downswing and my follow through and BMX generating power is all in the compression and then the um, decompression off, you know, your knees and things like that. In golf, it's all rotation. So it took me a while to stop 
pushing my chest towards my feet in the ground with my downswing and that resulted the you know resolving that resulted from not getting so high and back with my backswing and so as you can see you know good good positioning here for the putt uh, you know just below the pin uh, if I recall it's about like 20 30 feet out nothing too crazy and it looked good and I thought I got it really well but just just went left or right to left a little bit more and here you can see I hesitate of like oh I forgot I was filming but um, you know not mad about the speed it was a little uphill and just you know just didn't get it there and it broke a little bit more right to left and like I said putting is probably one of the things I've practiced the least and I will be focusing on doing more so now here is hole eight at Cypress Head on the front. And it's a par five, but when you're up from the whites, it's 220 to the water. From back here, it's like 280 to the water. So got a driver and just kind of pushed it off the toe a little bit, which is okay because I did make good contact. And on the right, as you can see, I know there's bunkers over there, so I'm looking for it. And you know, it didn't cut over too much. It just was a slight push, so it stayed fairly straight. And um, I, I filmed it a little late, but I wanted to show you how far back in the woods it was compared to the white tee box and the gold tee box. But as you can see, you know, I'm in good condition and um, off the white, you, you're not using a driver. Sometimes they get close even with a three wood, but um, a little above my feet with the ball. And so I'm using my three wood. It's a little windy. Uh, retrospect, I probably shouldn't have done this. Probably should have just laid up to the right. Par five again, didn't need to do this, but... Wanted to be a hero, and I'm just out there practicing, and just came up on the ball, topped it, and watch it just trickle into the water, and um, you know, just for the sake of it, go for another one. Hit it nice and clean, but just kind of got my hands across it too much, and just hooked it. Didn't get up in the air, and as you can see, it splashed right into the water. So here I'm taking my official drop, and um, I believe it was like 160 um, with the wind, so. You know, smacked a seven iron and struck it well. Again, it was a little above my feet, but not much I can do. And uh, watched it, and I was worried it was gonna go in the bunker, but it was actually when I got up there, I'll see, you'll see. And right here, I'm talking about how uh, when you hit the water, you take a drop. But you know, what went a little bit past the pin, so um, you know, struck it better than I thought. And again, been working on my chipping game and my touch, and not trying to crush the ball. And you know, with these, less is more, as uh, the saying goes. And so, got a nice chip. Felt good, looked good, and uh, just kind of got it not out to the left enough, I guess is the best way to put it. It just it was breaking left to right, just didn't get it out to the left. And, um, you know, came up a little short because I was scared of the, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it goes downhill towards the water after the pin. So, um, yeah, just went for the putt, just a little, little slow, a little further out left. It didn't break as much because it's going downhill towards the water, so it makes sense in retrospect. It wasn't going to break to the right like I thought, but... Either way, um, got a bogey and you know, had a good time.